Yes, good afternoon. It's a privilege to be here representing 3M and to speak at such a distinguished trade event here in Germany. Um, I'm going to cover the topic of enabling intelli intelligent infrastructure, uh, and here we go. Our vision at 3M is to connect technology and products and innovation to improve every company, every home, and every life. And you can imagine as a 115-year-old safety company in the heart of Minnesota and the, the Midwest of the US with a Swedish CEO, sustainability is very much on our minds as well as safety every day. Uh, I won't go through too many details here, but I'll highlight two. One is that we spend 6% of sales on research and development. That's about $1.8 billion each year. And in the lower right-hand corner, I'll highlight one other thing that might amaze you. You are, every minute of the day, you're likely less than three meters away from 3M technology in one way or another in most places in the world that you are. A reason for that is we invest in 46 technology platforms. These we've organized in Professor Mendeleev's table here, much like atoms, in that we combine atoms to create molecules. Those molecules of technology combined create products that we bring to market through five business groups, all the way from healthcare uh, to consumer. Relevant to this event here, uh, we have, of course, our automotive and, and aerospace and specialty vehicle business, and then in electronics and energy, a lot of work on display materials, light management, and sensor technologies. I'm representing safety and graphics, and I'll give you a little more context for that here. We are one of the leading safety companies in protecting workers in occupational and in uh, construction environments, certainly in our famous, I believe, for that, as you can see in the picture here. But for many years, we've been working on transportation safety. In fact, we have a division of our company called Transportation Safety, which is all about bringing, helping to bring families home safely uh, every day from wherever we're traveling. And those materials have been refined over a very long period of time. In 1939, the first reflective traffic sign, a stop sign, was erected in the United States. And subsequent to that, we've seen license plates, other types of signage materials, pavement markings, even on-vehicle markings for the purpose of safety. And as a science-based company, we've been driving the understanding of this type of customer for us, a customer that looks like all of us in the room, one head, a big brain, and two eyes, to comprehend that light and that motion and that color coming back to us in an environment of safety. Um, we find ourselves now challenged with a new customer. For 78 years, we could focus on one. It, life was comparatively simple. Now we have a new customer, and that's machine vision in the computer and the connected and autonomous vehicle. It opens up a whole new set of challenges, a whole new set of opportunities, uh, and able to help decode this. And I'll tell you how we got about this and how we came into this um, understanding. What if you could combine, and at 3M, this kind of magical thing happens frequently, what if you had access to 46 technologies? Recently, you had some PhD uh, recent graduates that were experts in machine learning. Of course, material science, you have to throw that in. And some sage experts in the field of optics. And at the same time, by good fortune, we were trying to develop a dental scanner to scan 3D images of teeth for orthodontists and for dentists those teams and those technologies began to weave together solving problems and came, we came up to a realization that we might be able to do this in a traffic environment. The realization of that dream today is manifest in some test tracks. I'll show you those in just a second. Uh, and our goal for this is to really drive home a central theme about safety. We believe safety benefits from two things primarily. One of those is simplicity having simple systems that people, machines, can understand and contemplate clearly. Secondly, redundancy. Safety always benefits to a very high degree from redundancy to compensate for all the very challenging circumstances that something like a vehicle is going to see out there in the real world. Now, at the same time, we're an infrastructure company. We've been building, helping states and countries build this infrastructure for 78 years. 
how can we create an infrastructure that continues to be useful for human beings for some time into the future, and without installing additional infrastructure, upgrade that such that the machine vision will be able to benefit from it. And you can see an example here that we've used, and that stop sign to us looks like an ordinary stop sign at night. Red, white, you can see the shape, an octagon. Down below, however, you see the machine is reading a, a lot more metadata about that sign. Its precise GPS coordinates, for example, the date when it was installed. It's it, limitless what information we can put on there. Today, it's a 48-bit 40 bit payload. That gives us 281 trillion different combinations of signs. I think that's enough for the world, for this planet, uh, undoubtedly. That idea has been extended to the construction work zone, which is a very dynamic and challenging environment, and where I think providing heads up information to drivers as well as to the computer vision itself is of great benefit. Lastly, um, uh, in, in this area, uh, we're not using a, a machine readable barcode or, or smart code, so to speak but we're using enhanced materials, very high contrast, high brightness materials to create much better um, lane markings and pavement markings to delineate where uh, a car needs to travel. Um, this is one of the biggest complaints that we hear from connected and auto on, uh, autonomous vehicle uh, makers and designers and drivers is the late pavement markings are not consistent and how can we enhance that environment? Uh, so you can see here examples of, of high contrast pavement markings. These will probably be the first commercial products that come to market. There's a lot of uh, testing going on in this particular area right now. And our approach to testing is actually put this out in the real world with other partners. And I'm going to show you uh, some of those partnerships here in, in my next uh, couple of slides. A very important collabor collaborator for us is Texas Transportation Institute as a third-party laboratory in the U.S. And we're able to work with their staff to uh, optimize not only uh, the conditions, but the test methods themselves and understand how do we correlate traditional retroreflective uh, measurements with what the car is actually seeing through the sensor package that it has today. So a lot of this pioneering work has been uh, going on um, just with us and Transportation Institute. Uh, that result of that has gone public uh, this summer now in a collaboration with the state of Michigan Department of Transportation. Twelve of these smart code signs have been erected on the I-75 corridor near Detroit. And it's given us a chance to test this in the real world and see what really happens. And we've learned a lot about what didn't work right out of the chute and have had an opportunity to perfect this and to collect a lot of data. We're using, as you can see here, what looks like a standard constru orange construction work zone sign, yet on the laptop on the right, you can see uh, how that is being interpreted by the machine vision system of the vehicle. And this is a case where Magna's taken that to the next step, which we're thrilled with, to be able to fully integrate that into the, the uh, intelligence system on the car and ultimately all the way to the display. Uh, so that's Magna's implementation. A group of companies have worked together uh, to make this possible, and in the center you can see the flyer, I guess, uh, that, the universe, that Michigan has published uh, to explain to their population what we're doing together, creating smart codes that both human beings uh, can benefit from as well as machine vision. You see a collection of companies there on the right. Um, this is a quick presentation today, just really as a teaser uh, of, of what's possible using the existing infrastructure and upgrading it to create that redundant and simple system that we believe is going to enhance safety. And if you can enhance safety, safety has a big impact on overall, of course, the human sustainability side of the equation, but also traffic jams and all the other things that accidents uh, lead to. So I will finish with a quick video so you will be able to see this operating in a real-world environment at real speeds.
With that, thank you very much for your attention this afternoon.